This is part 6 of Angular 2 tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss nesting Angular components, that is, including a component inside another component. We already know Angular 2 is all about components. A component in Angular allows us to create a reusable UI widget. A component can be used by any other component. So let's look at a very simple example of nesting components. Here is what we want to do. We want to display employee details on a web page as you can see right here. It has got two sections. The first one is the page header which is employee details and the second one is the employee details table. We want to design our web page like this. This page header employee details is going to come from our root component which is app component and this employee details table is going to come from employee component. At the moment we already have our root component. We need to do minor modifications to it which we'll do in just a bit. First let's go ahead and implement employee component. So let's flip to Visual Studio now. Our employee component is going to be inside its own folder. So let's right click on the app folder and add a new folder. Let's name this folder employee. First, let's add a view template for our employee component. So let's right click on the employee folder, add and we want to add an HTML page. And let's name this page employee.component.html and click OK. Remember, we want to display these details of the employee. First name, last name, gender and age. So within the view template of the employee component, let's include an HTML table which displays those details. Notice within every TR, we have got two TDE elements. Within the first TD, we have the field names, first name, last name, etc. And in the second TD, we have got data binding expressions. Again, first name, last name, gender, etc. At the moment, we don't have these properties implemented yet. We'll do that in just a bit. We have got four TR elements here because we want to display employee details in four rows in a table as you can see right here. So next, let's implement the employee component code file which supports this view template. So to this employee folder which contains our view template, let's add a TypeScript file. Let's name this employee.component.ts and within this file, let's create our employee component class. Now we want to be able to use this employee component from our root component. So I'm going to use export keyword on this class which allows other components to import and use this component if required. And within this class we need to have these properties that we are referencing in the corresponding view template. Notice here we have first name, last name, gender and age. So let's include these properties within our employee component class. First name property type is string and let's include a default value of Tom. Similarly, let's include properties for last name, gender and age. We also have the default values specified here. At the moment, we are hard coding the values. In a later video, we'll discuss how to retrieve these values from a database table. The next step is to decorate this employee component class with the component decorator provided by Angular to add metadata. But for us to be able to do that, we will have to first import the component decorator. So let's import component from Angular Core. So let's use the component decorator using the add symbol and let's specify the selector first. I'm going to set selector to my dash employee. You can give it any name you want. Now remember we can use the selector as a directive where we want to use this component and then let's specify template URL. Now this component has the view template in a separate HTML that is employee.component.html and this file is present within the employee folder which in turn is present in the app folder. Remember the template URL is relative to index.html. So let's specify the path for the view template. So it's present in app slash employee slash employee.component.html. 
So at this point, we have our employee component which displays employee details in a table. Next, let's implement the root component which displays this page header employee details. We already have a root component in place and that root component is in app.component.ts file. Notice within this class at the moment we have a property called name. Let's change the name of this property to page header and the value is employee details. At the moment this component is referencing an external view template app.component.html which is present right here. The view template HTML is only three lines long. Angular 2 recommends to extract templates into a separate file if the view template HTML is longer than three lines. In our case it's just three lines so I'm going to move this HTML in line into our TypeScript file. So instead of using template URL property let's use the template property and a pair of backtick characters within this pair of backtick characters let's include our view template HTML. I'm going to include a development and inside this let's include an h1 element to display the page header. Let's close the h1 element and our property name here is page header. So we have implemented our root component as well. So at this point we have implemented our employee component which displays the employee details in a table. Here is the TypeScript file and the corresponding view template and here we have our root component which displays the page header. Since the view template HTML here is just three lines we have used an inline template instead of an external template and keep in mind Angular 2 recommends to extract templates into a separate file if the view template is longer than three lines. So with all these changes in place let's run our application by pressing Ctrl F5 and see what happens. Notice at the moment we only have the page header employee details we do not have the table that displays the employee details. For us to be able to display the employee details table along with the page header, we will have to nest employee component inside app component which is our root component. There are two simple steps to nest a component inside another component. The first step is to make two modifications within this file app.module.ts. Notice within this file we have a class called app module. We'll discuss what this app module class is in just a bit. First, let's make those two modifications that are required. Just like how we have imported our app component, we will have to import our employee component. Now at the moment we will not have IntelliSense here because we have not specified from. So first let's specify from. We want to import employee component from the employee folder. So within the employee folder we have employee.component. Now within the curly braces look at this the moment I type em we get IntelliSense employee component. And within the declarations at the moment we have app component. In addition to app component we also want employee component. So that's the first change within app.module.ts. And here are those two changes which we just made. So what is app module? App module is the root module which bootstraps and launches the Angular application. You can name this module anything you want but by convention it is called app module. Now let's understand the code that we have in this module file. Notice we are importing two system modules, ng module and browser module. Browser module is required by all Angular applications that run in a web browser. In addition, this module also provides ngif and ng4 directives. We'll discuss these directives with examples in detail in our upcoming videos. ng module is required to add metadata to an Angular module. Remember, the component decorator adds metadata to an Angular component. In a similar fashion, the ng module adds metadata to an Angular module. Remember, if we decorate a class with the component decorator then that class becomes an angular component. In a similar fashion, 
if a class is decorated with ng module then that class becomes an angular component and then we are importing app component and employee components from the respective files now let's look at the metadata that we have here notice here we are importing the browser module which is required by all angular applications that run in a web browser and then within the declarations array we've got these two components app component and employee component so basically we are registering these two components with this module and then we have the bootstrapping component which is our app component so basically this is the root component which bootstraps our application and we specify this component within our host page which is index.html notice here we are using a directive my app and if you remember within our app component that my app directive is specified as a selector so the first step is to import the employee component and add it to the declarations array within the module file the second step is to add my employee selector as a directive within app.component.ts file where we want to nest it so let's flip to visual studio within our app.component.ts file so within the view template here just after h1 element inside the div element i am going to use my dash employee remember this is the selector that we have used in our employee component so if you look at employee.component.ts notice the selector is my employee that means we can use this selector as a directive where we want to use this component and at the moment we are nesting this component inside our root component app component so with these changes in place let's reload the web page by pressing ctrl r notice we see the employee details table along with the page header employee details but at the moment this employee details table is not styled so to style that table let's include the style definitions in style.css file for table and td elements so let's flip to visual studio and let's open our styles.css file we want to include a style for table and I'm going to copy all these styles that we have for the h1 and specify them right here so the color is going to be the same font family is going to be the same and font size I'm going to specify large and we want to collapse the border so border hyphen collapse colon collapse and let's include a one pixel solid black border for TD so border for the TD is going to be one pixel solid black let's save these changes and reload our web page notice now the employee details table is styled as expected thank you for listening and have a great day